Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here, and it's Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. I, uh, I was away for the weekend, so I'm catching up on a couple of shaves. I, uh, it was my wife's birthday yesterday, and I always blow it, gents. I always blow it when I get her a gift. So uh, this time I took her to her favorite place, uh, Cambria, California. It's up there on the northern coast or central coast. And uh, there's always those otters and seals and the temperature's really nice. And our hotel is like right across from the beach. So This year, I hit it out of the park. So I'm a little behind on the video. So here we are today catching up. All right, today I'm gonna to be trying some products from Spain. Leah, this is, uh, let's see, this is the, uh, is this the aftershave? This is the aftershave and this is the shave cream. Uh, somebody had asked me if I could give it a shot and uh, I'd never heard of it before. But fortunately, they were on eBay for relatively cheap, like five bucks shipped. So I'm going to be giving it a shot today for the first time. And hopefully she works out good. This is a brush shaving cream. I did see that. It did say it was to be used with a brush. And it's uh, for sensitive skin since 1823. All right, today I'm going to be using my Via Long horsehair brush. So I've used the heck out of this. Only issue I've ever had with this brush, and I mentioned that in my last video, is the clear coat kind of comes off the wooden handle. So we're going to put the uh, horsehair brush into the crystal skull, let it soak for a few minutes, and I'm going to use a mixing bowl today. I'm going to use the uh, Van Ule. Uh, this is the I like that, the light blue. And for the razor, by popular demand, people have been asking, when are you going to use it again? Here we go. The Blackland Bla Brass Blackbird. Very good. All right, and for the blades today, Astra Green. We'll give it a shot. So how have you guys been? Have you had a good weekend? Has everything been good? I think the last time I uh, did a shave was last week before I headed out there. Man, I've cleaned up today. I took a sick day. I uh, ate some stuff on that trip that didn't agree with me, so I took a day off and I've been uh, just resting up in the house, but it gave me a chance to clean up the shaved in. So I uh, did clean my 50 pence piece and I used this to uh, scrape the soap into the bowl. Hang on one sec. Got one of those robot vacuum cleaners, you know, the Roomba type. Runs around cleaning and I could hear it kind of struggling a bit. It, it had sucked up that, the key to open up the uh, bathroom door. So that was making some good noise. All right, so where were we? Oh yeah, I'm gonna be using the Brass Blackland Blackbird again. All right, with the Aster Blade. So yeah, it was nice up, up north. Uh, it's nice to get away from this heat. We've been having the Santa Ana winds and of course the fires. So just kind of, it's been a little, uh, a little hot. Uh, terrible if you have allergies, terrible. People have been dropping like flies at work who have allergies. All right, Astra. You've seen this razor before. I've used it so much now, it's got a nice patina to it. I could run it through a, a polishing, but very little overhang. It's a nice, heavy razor. Long handle does the job for me. All right, let's see here. Oh, wet the face again. Man, that thing threw me off track. Okay. Van Ule bowl. Put a little bit in here. What, you figure good enough? Guys in Europe have probably used this a lot. 
I haven't checked out the videos of uh, you guys yet, so this is the first time for me. All right, horsehair brush. I uh, one of the <laughs> I had uh, somebody comment on uh, the intro to wet shaving video about the evils of using badger and uh, boar brushes, but uh, hey, man, to each his own. My the next brush that's coming out, the uh, Ken Search Winter 2019 edition, is actually a synthetic brush, so there will not be a choice of badger on that one. But uh, that was pure coincidence. But because of that guy complained, here you go, dude, this is for you, horsehair. All right. See, I read your complaints. That's like people who say, man, I can't eat meat, shouldn't eat meat. Cruelty, the animals, I'm a vegan, blah, 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 blah. Dude, I like my burgers. You can't change the world. But uh, you will be happy to know that my next brush, by no, just a sheer coincidence, is going to be synthetic. All right. Then I'll show you a picture of that when the prototype arrives. If you are using a horsehair brush for the first time, Chance, it's going to stink. It will stink for... Uh, quite a few uses, and then it'll calm down. This soap. Wow. All right, whoever it was that uh, requested I do this, good call. The soap seems good. All right, the black lamp. Such a heavy razor, man. You guys are pretty sharp. Do you notice stuff in the background that's new? See if you can spot that before I start talking about it. You guys know I was born in England, right? We came out here in December of 1969 from Newcastle. And at first my dad had a hard time adjusting, left all his friends, made new ones here. American and English friends. But in 1976, it was the bicentennial here. 200 years of freedom. And everybody was, I mean, across this country were pro bicentennial. And my dad, the smart ass that he was, had to, had to poke the bear, man. I've mentioned this before. He got bumper stickers for his car at the English shops. And it said, tea dumping pollutes. And Paul Revere was a snitch. The usual stuff. Just a funny guy. Well, one of his American buddies, uh, my dad smoked heavy. And one of uh, his American friends got him a lighter. And he carried that lighter. It said, I'm an American and proud of it. To serve this great, or serve this wonderful country is a privilege. And uh, my dad carried that dang lighter for 20 years. And then when he passed away, I got it. And uh, what happened is, is that, you know, I'll do a cigar every once in a while. And when I was growing up, I used to carry a Zippo lighter, man. I could do all sorts of tricks with that Zippo lighter, snap it open, light it, flip it, do all sorts of cool stuff. And uh, I lost quite a few lighters. Well, I smoke cigars now. And I bought a Zippo, and I had bought an insert for my cigars. I actually bought a butane insert. And I uh, don't know if you can see that. The one I had had went out. So I was looking for another one. I came across the same lighter from 1974 as my dad had on eBay, just by chance. You guys who know Zippos, you can tell the date code just like Gillette's. And uh, I, I, if I lose this one, I don't care because I got it off eBay cheap. But uh, I don't want to lose his, so I just keep his in the safe. <laughs> but uh, the things you find when you're not looking for them, and to find the exact same lighter that he carried was just kind of cool. What did it say? That went kind of quick. There we go. Well worn, huh, Jim? Whoever owned this one, well worn. 
but I've lost too many lighters in my day to lose the one that my dad treasured. So uh, I'll keep that one on display and I'll carry this one if I need to. If I'm feeling vintage. There's probably a lot of you guys collect Zippos and uh, watches. Oh, first watch check. The digital tur or the digital tuna from Seiko. Well, this soap, this razor, and this blade is made for a great combo today, gents. Great combo. Very, very smooth. Very smooth. If I can keep from dropping it. Well, Movember's coming up at the end of this week, so man, I got a good start, right? All right. Man. Very good. Definitely a good tip. Thank you, guys. Good tip on that. eBay had it, so that was nice. All right. Sensible. Sensitive skin. Put on too much. Whoa, wait a minute. Wow, a little bit of a tingle there, gents. Little bit of a burn. Very nice. It's got a little bit of a menthol scent. Little bit. I don't see any uh, scent profile. Boom, 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 boom. It's got the barber shop with definitely a hint of the menthol scent. And that could be what's giving me the uh, the nice burning sensation. All right. Well, there we go. Thank you for watching. Thanks for the tip. You know, I get a lot of requests, and I say I'll try. And if stuff's available, I'll buy it. I'll try it. But some of the stuff's like outrageous. You know, uh, can you try out a $200 uh, razor? Can you try out a $250? I can't always buy those. Sometimes uh, my bad habit allows me to uh, buy them if I get some OD overtime coming in. But I try, I try, I try. And it was nice to be able to do this one. Someone had also said, what do you do with your brushes when you're done? I've got the bowl here. I'm going to rinse this one out. Fill it up with cold water again. Rinse it out one more time. Now if I can find a stand. Yeah. Got these cheap plastic stands. Boom. Ready to go. I'll rinse out the shave bowl. I usually don't do this on camera, but hey, you asked. What's your post shave? Now look at this. This thing, you don't want to put it away like this, right? Especially, especially a brass razor. It's a brass razor. See, look, all that crap's going to cause it to tarnish. I'm going to set that blade. I rinsed that blade off. It's probably good for a couple of more tries. I'm going to set it aside right here. Rinse off this razor. And I have a stand to put it in and let it dry. So there we go. The post shave. 
That's funny. Man, that damn vacuum found that. All right. All right, guys. Till next time, it's Ken Surf saying have a great night. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your subscriptions. And what are we first is uh, this week. So next week, I should be getting my hands on that uh, Gillette razor to try out. Arriving on the 5th. So till next time, have a great night. Thank you very much for watching.